Flat-coated retrievers have a very happy and outgoing temperament. They make a great family pet and are great with children. Flat-coated retrievers are a large dog breed that may be black or liver-colored in appearance. They were originally bred in England to be a gun dog in the mid-1800s. Unlike other breeds that had one main specialty, flat-coated retrievers were bred to retrieve fowl from both land and water. Flat-coated retrievers are a large-sized dog breed. Males and females both typically weigh between 60 and 70 inches. Males are slightly taller with a height between 23 and 24.5 inches compared to a female's height of 22 to 23.5 inches. Three-month-old puppies generally weigh between 21 and 29 pounds. Six-month-old puppies weigh between 39 and 54 pounds. Flat-coated retrievers finish growing between the ages of 16 and 19 months. Before you purchase or adopt a flat-coated retriever, it is important to learn about the potential health concerns that this breed may face. Being aware of these can help you learn when you'll want to seek out help from your dog's veterinarian. One hereditary problem that flat-coated retrievers may develop is hip dysplasia. This is a condition where the joints don't form properly and rub against each other as the dog walks. Over time, this can cause a lot of pain and discomfort and may require surgery. Flat-coated retrievers may also suffer from patellar luxation. This is a condition where the patella, or kneecap, slips into and out of place as the dog walks. This can cause their legs to become lame and may need surgery to be fixed. Bloat is another potential issue to look out for with flat-coated retrievers. Bloat refers to a dog's stomach twisting on itself which prevent the dog from being able to expel any air and causes their stomach to bloat up. The causes of bloat are not completely understood, but there is a connection between eating a large meal and exercising vigorously right after, so try to avoid this scenario with your dog. If you suspect your dog is suffering from bloat, seek veterinary care immediately. Flat-coated retrievers have a very cheerful and outgoing personality. They can make a good family pet because of many of their personality traits, such as their desire to please their owners and how affectionate they are. In most cases, flat-coated retrievers do well with other dogs and cats as well. It is important to make sure a flat-coated retriever gets enough personality so they don't become bored and engage in destructive behaviors. As you prepare to take care of your flat-coated retriever, keep in mind that there are specific considerations you'll need to make for this dog breed. Think about their temperament, dietary needs, activity needs, potential health concerns, and other factors as you plan for their care. Most adult flat-coated retrievers will need between 3.5 and 4.5 cups of food each day. Their food should be portioned out into two meals. The right amount for each dog will vary based on their activity level, age, weight, health concerns, and more. Check with your dog's veterinarian to determine how much food he or she should eat. Flat-coated retriever puppies have much smaller stomachs than adults. Because of this, they will require smaller, more frequent meals. When the puppies are between 8 and 12 weeks, they should eat four times each day. Between the ages of 3 and 6 months, puppies should be fed three meals, and by the time they are 6 months, they can handle just two meals each day. Look for a high-quality puppy food that will meet the growing dog's nutritional needs. Flat-coated retrievers are relatively easy to groom and maintain. They do shed a good amount, so you'll need to brush them about once each week using a metal comb. This will help remove any loose hairs or dirt from their coat. Additionally, be sure to check and clean your flat-coated retriever's ears to keep them clean and infection-free. Their teeth should also be brushed a few times each week and their nails should be trimmed to keep them from getting long and painful. 
It will be very important to start training your flat-coated retriever from an early age. This breed can get overly excited and jump a lot. They are also known for chewing. Early training using a method that stresses positive reinforcement works best for flat-coated retrievers. It is also important to socialize your dog from an early age so they begin to learn how to act around other dogs, people, and different situations. Daily exercise is a must with this breed. Take your dog out for a walk each day or find time to play with them to make sure their activity needs are met. They also enjoy participating in agility, obedience, and tracking events. As we shared above, flat-coated retriever puppies have a much smaller stomach and need to eat smaller, more frequent meals than adults. Flat-coated retrievers are also a very orally fixated breed, so you will want to begin training your dog not to chew as soon as you bring them home. It is also a good idea to remove anything from your space that could be hazardous if chewed by a puppy or that you don't want to see ruined. Before you bring home your new flat-coated retriever puppy, make sure your home is set up and ready for his or her arrival. Purchase a dog bed, a collar and leash, some toys, food, and treats for your dog. Call your veterinarian to set up an appointment for a checkup right after you bring your new dog home. 